So when you first started uploading beats to the internet, would you say your beats were, were solid and ready to go or did they still need work? Oh no, they definitely need, they definitely need your work. Um, and I've still kept them up because every now and again, I'll make like a, a really odd sale on one of them that I'd never expect to. Uh, and I think everyone's experienced that. Every Everyone I speak to has said that they've experienced that for sure. But now, like when I go back and listen to them now, I was like, damn, like where was I when I created that? Like what space was I in? Cause it was really bad. <laughs> Yeah, because I mean, I, I think a lot of creatives, period, they start making their art and they're so excited just by the process and the fact that they that they created something original that, you know, they really get in their own heads and either on the one side where they think they're terrible or on the other side where they think they're amazing. And, and I think both of those mentalities can hold you back. But how were you able to tell that your beats needed work at that time and how were you able to focus on improving the parts that did need work what what kind of process of analysis and introspection did you go through to, to reach those conclusions well at first i think i was naive you know what i mean i think i was naive thinking that i i was able to compete with you know other producers in in the community with with the stuff that i was already creating and i think just over time I, you know, I already had an ear for music and I understood, I understood to a certain point that it wasn't where I wanted it to be. Um, but I think one of the biggest problems I had was I was comparing myself too much to other people and I was, you know, getting frustrated and stuff like that. And I think, uh, you know, again, everyone goes through that. You compare yourself to other people. And, and I, I think what, made the difference was when I just really concentrated on you know my music rather than and not comparing it to other people and um and I think that's where things start to change I don't know if I actually answered your question there because I think I went off a little bit but so what else did you do throughout that process I mean I'm sure you had some problems with mixing early on as yeah. most of us do maybe sequencing what were what were some resources you used or some some habits that you formed in order to improve and and even listen enough to your music in the right way so that you knew exactly what to pinpoint to fix yeah um it was like watching people like yourself you know joining mec club as well that helped you know just to get some critique and and from from yourself and others and just you know give some tips but one of the other things was as well i i started to network with artists and and i started to work with them and they was actually giving me advice on how how to you know structure music that kind of stuff um, because I think we all do it when we first start as a producer, we it, like, we create music and it feels empty. Like you feel like there's something missing and at nine times out of 10, you're putting too much in. And I think that was something that I did. I made it too complicated. I was putting too much, too many sounds in it. Um, and then after speaking with artists, you know, they would say like, take that, out or take this out is too much you know I can't I can't there's too many melodies going on I can't like hear any of my own melodies I can't add anything to it um and that that really helped um you know figuring out you know just networking with artists networking with people like yourself um and just getting advice from people watching tutorials you know just using every single resource I could to improve and also as well just keep listening to music just keep listening, listening, listening in the same sound source that you're using to do your mixing and stuff. You know, I just did the same stuff over and over and over again, kept making beats. And just over time, they just it started to improve. Um, and also, I didn't spend too long on one beat. You know, if I, if I didn't like it, I would just skip and I'd go to the next one and just keep doing that. And generally just gradually imp improved.